The U.S. has reached a new grim milestone. There are more measles cases this year than there have ever been since the country declared measles eliminated 25 years ago. Let that sink in. So, how did we get here? The U.S. declared measles eliminated in 2000, which means the virus isn't spreading continuously for longer than a year. The U.S. did this, like most high-income countries have, by vaccinating most of the population with the measles, mumps, and rubella shot, or the MMR vaccine. The last time the U.S. almost lost its elimination status was in 2019, when an outbreak connected to Orthodox Jewish communities spread through New York State. But with the help of aggressive vaccine mandates and strong messaging from public health officials, the U.S. was able to hold on to its elimination status for that year. A lot has changed since then. First, childhood vaccination rates fell during the pandemic and have not yet bounced back. Experts say that you want about 95% of a population to be vaccinated in order to stop the spread of measles. But the latest data tells us that only about 93% of kindergartners have the MMR vaccine nationwide. And in Gaines County, Texas, the epicenter of the measles outbreak, the vaccination rate hovers around 82%. Second, the response to this year's outbreak from federal health officials has been unusually mild. The current health secretary, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., has downplayed the outbreak, promoted unproven treatments, and offered only muted support for vaccines. And third, this is a bad year for measles globally. There have been large outbreaks in Canada and Europe, which means that more virus is coming in from abroad. So what does this all mean? If there's no clear end in sight, and if vaccination rates don't improve, this represents a huge step back for the public health of our country. And it's a sobering sign that these deadly outbreaks may become the new normal. And it's not just measles. You can think of measles like a canary in a coal mine. Because it's so contagious, it's often the first disease to make a comeback when vaccine rates start to fall. And experts fear that other diseases are not far behind. 